Here is another highly informative, raw, audio segment with some very important information. Hopefully, you will gain a better understanding of a few more unanswered questions in your own life. Just by listening to this, we really appreciate you for letting John Henry Media Network assist in expanding your knowledge of self. Now, listen to this. Let me take some telephone calls for you, beginning with Chicago. You are on the air for Minister Farrakhan. Mr. Farrakhan, I would just like to say that you have done a very good job for the black people and keep the good work up. Thank you so very much. You have a question as well, just a comment. All right, we'll let it stand. Hendersonville, Tennessee, good morning to you. You're on the air. I appreciate it, Susan. I appreciate Minister Farrakhan taking my call. My name is Bill Powell from Hendersonville, Tennessee. Yes, sir. Mr. Farrakhan, I'm so disappointed that you use your great uh, stature among the black people to divide the races, to poison the relationship between whites and blacks, and to do everything you can to place enmity between us instead of uniting us. Now, you said, and it's been widely reported, and I heard the tape exactly, that you said that white people, and George Bush particularly, you uh, blew up the levees in New Orleans to kill and displace black people. And, sir, this kind of rhetoric just with no proof or no evidence you know and you get away with it and you get to come on c-span and places like that whereas a person like david duke or one of your counterparts that's white would never get this kind of uh, uh treatment and and say these kind of things that you know in your heart are totally fallacious and, and untrue and Caller. i just don't understand why you do that to, to divide the races when you could be such a uniter and get us together working. You know, we got enemies outside this country, and I hope you're not one of them. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your question. First, let me say this, that we visited New Orleans, um, not New Orleans, uh, Dallas, Texas, members of the executive committee of the Millions More Movement, to talk to Mayor Nagan. And at that time, Mayor Nagan said that there was a 25-foot crater under the levee. In the Wa Wall Street Journal, there was a mystery that was raised about whether a barge broke the levee. And then on the Hal Turner show, which some of uh, those researchers sent to me, the comments that were made on his show, it was that some member of the Army Corps of Engineers went in under the water and saw burn marks on concrete. And he took that concrete, according to this article, and sent it to a uh, friend in the Army for Forensic Laboratories. And they came back with two different types of explosives that are military-type explosives. Okay, maybe that is a rumor, but if it is a rumor, sir, there are black people and white people in the Ninth War that believe that the levee was bombed or destroyed purposely because Hurricane Katrina passed. The eye of the hurricane had passed and reporters were standing in the French Quarter saying, sir, that we escaped the wrath of Katrina while at the same time, a day or so later, the water came. Now, my question, sir, if it is a rumor, the Holy Quran says to us, whenever there's a rumor that is believed and is being spread, then those in authority who can search out the truth of that should go to work and either dispel the rumor as fiction or prove it to be fact. And sir, if you would go and get a book by Mr. John Barry, not a black man, John Barry, he wrote a book called The Rising Tide, and in that book he said white people, rich white people in 1927 compromised the levee and flooded the Ninth Ward. I didn't write the book, sir, but I know that there are those who hate the poor. It is not Farrakhan that has divided the races. Farrakhan did not set up 
Jim Crow. Farrakhan did not set up white only. Farrakhan did not set up separate but equal. Farrakhan did not set black people in the ninth ward and relegate them to poverty. Farrakhan did not pass by black people on the roofs of houses begging for help. I talked to a respected white lawyer the other day in Los Angeles, Mr. Tom Mesero, and Mr. Mesero said, Farrakhan, if the people on those roofs had white skin and blonde hair and blue eyes, I do not think that they would have suffered what they suffered. Four hurricanes hit Florida last year. There was significant loss of property, but not significant loss of life. It is not I, sir, who is dividing the country. It is what I saw on television from New Orleans a few days ago. Four white uh, cops and FBI beating a 64-year-old black man and then lying that the man was drunk and the man had not had a drink in 24 years. And the police union is defending that kind of behavior. That is what is polarizing black and white. So thank you for your question, sir. But look deep into your own heart and remove the beam out of your own eye before you attempt to remove one that you think is in mine. The same uh, John Barry that Minister Farrakhan uh, references has an op-ed piece in today's uh, New York Times after the deluge some questions and uh, in the uh, blowout it says he writes it matters why the levees broke he says that there have been three credible teams uh, that have been sent to investigate it and this is what he writes after inspecting the levees and reviewing storm data all three investigating teams agree Hurricane Katrina hit Lake Pontchartrain with far less strength than it did the Gulf Coast and the storm surge fell well short of the tops of the levees in fact a design or construction flaw caused them to collapse in the force in the face of a force they were designed to hold in other words if the levees had performed as they were supposed to the deaths in New Orleans proper the sea in the Superdome and the city's devastation would never have taken place. So what this shows is neglect on the part of the federal government because those levies uh, were weak and the people of New Orleans were asking the federal government for 12 to 14 billion dollars to rebuild those levies. That money never came. But we found $340 billion to put on a war which we found was a, on the basis of a lie. Something is wrong with this picture and the American people are awakening and they need a change in government. Our next question for you. Stay tuned in. The next episode will begin soon. You have just heard another great and powerful message for our black community. Brought to you by John Henry Media Network in the United States of America, this is the place for you, your family and friends to hear educational messages and music from other very important black people to help build a stronger and more revolution-ready black America. Your message will awaken another sleeping giant. So, contact us today at JAHU. Enterprises at yahoo.com. I say again, that's jahu.enterprises at yahoo.com. Get your music or message heard by millions for another generous donation today. The sun is shining.